lovely creatives. In this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use clipping masks in Procreate. One of the most powerful ways to add shading, texture and details while keeping your original artwork safe and editable. Before we dive in, I wanted to let you know that you can grab 22 free Procreate color palettes just by signing up as a free member on my Patreon. These are perfect for digital painting, illustration and designing your next creative project. You'll find the link in the description below. Let's dive in. A clipping mask lets you apply color or effects to one layer while keeping everything perfectly confined to the shape on the layer below it. It's like saying, only show this brushstroke where the base layer already exists. And best of all, it's non-destructive. So you can go back, adjust or remove it at any time without changing your original artwork. Here's how to do it. First, draw your base shape or artwork on a layer. Then tap the plus icon to create a new layer above it. Then you're going to tap that layer and select Clipping Mask. You'll see a little arrow pointing down towards the base layer. That means anything you draw on the clipping mask will stay perfectly inside the shape below. Like so. Now you can add shading, highlights or detail without ever worrying about going outside the lines. You can even lower the opacity of your clipping mask Change its blend mode or you can even erase and adjust as you go. This is just a basic example and this gives you so much freedom and it's ideal for building up effects in a professional and very flexible way. Another very cool thing you can do with clipping masks is you can actually stack multiple layers, multiple clipping masks on top of one another and for each layer you can add different effects like one for shading, one for texture and one for color shifts. And this is quite a nice way to keep your workflow organized and makes it easier to tweak individual parts without starting over. So for example, here I've got my texture layer. On layer three, I'm going to add some highlights. I'm gonna to go to my airbrush, my medium airbrush. And because it is also a clipping mask, it is not going out of the lines. Okay, and then on this layer, I think I'm going to add even more, an even lighter highlight. And of course, I can once again go and erase areas that are too extreme. If you're wondering how this compares to Alpha Lock, I've got a full video on that too. It's linked below in the description. The short version is Alpha Lock is great for quick edits but clipping masks are the way to go when you want full control and flexibility. And there you have it. That's how to use clipping masks in Procreate. Whether you're working on character art, lettering, or anything in between, this technique will help you keep your layers clean and your workflow stress-free. If this was helpful, give the video a like and subscribe for more tutorials. And definitely check out the links below. You'll find my Alpha Lock tutorial, plus those 22 free Procreate color palettes waiting for you when you sign up as a free member on my Patreon. Thanks so much for watching and happy creating!